Kalkados, I wanted to share with you an incredible idea. We always speak about how important it is, whether it's the Torah and every single word in the Torah and every single letter in the Torah, that even if there's going to be one letter missing or one letter which is added, we have to try to understand why is that. In this week's parasha, Parashat Vayakel, we speak about again the Mishkan. We're speaking about the Mishkan and the utensils. And something very interesting. It speaks about the Nisim. And we already mentioned that the Nisim had one letter missing in their name. What exactly happened over here? They brought the precious stones for the clothing of the Kohen Gadol. Rashi already says for the Choshen, for the breastplate. And Rashi brings down because what happened was is that the Nesim, they went and they gave an open check. What does that mean? Comes and they ask for donations. And they said, you know what? Let everyone donate whatever they can and we finish off the job. So, beautiful. They come, they start donating, donating. All of a sudden, there was nothing left. So the Nesim were all worried. What are we going to do now? So they weren't able to give to the donations of the Mishkan, but only for the clothing of the Kohen Gadol. And that's how you had these precious stones. But as she says, because of their mistake, immediately when the inauguration of the Mishkan, they were the first ones to bring. They didn't want to repeat the mistake, so they did it right away. But now the rabbis come and they say to themselves, one second, what was the mistake? Imagine right now we want to have a project. We want to big, build a huge building. We want to buy a better Knesset. And I come to an Ashin and I tell him, listen, it's a $20 million project, $50 million project. And he comes and he says, you know what? You start getting the money. Here's a blank check. Whatever's missing, here it is. You're going to go. You're going to be ecstatic. You're going to be so happy. Chazak waruch. You're the biggest tzaddik in the world. You're... What do we see over here? The Nesim, one letter was taken off from their name. The Nesim, it was not written with the Yod. It's written without the Yod. Where do we see the same? Ephron. Ephron, when he comes and he said too much and he didn't do anything, by Abraham Avinu, when he was going to sell the burial plot, what happened? HaKosh Baruch Hu took out the Vav from his name. Why? I'm going to take it away. It's a punishment. And on the contrary, Yitro, his name was Yete. But really the fact that he comes and he did so many Maasim Tovim, we added a Vav to his name. We're adding something. So therefore imagine what it is, one little letter. But so what was the sin then? We would come and we would praise them and we would say everything good about them. What was so bad? And the answer lies something very deep. A true Nasi, a true leader, will always have belief in his congregation or in his nation or in his group, in his community, that for sure they'll succeed. For sure they will be able to come and get that amount of money. There's no doubt. We don't need an open check. Why? Because I'm going to get that amount of money. Don't worry about it. And therefore the fact that he didn't have enough belief in them, that's where they went wrong. That was their sin. Not in the fact that they're giving a blank check. That's for sure. Because for sure they're going to get it. So why aren't you going to be the first one that's going to put something towards it? That's what you should be able to do. Comes the rabbis, Tanat of Eliyahu. It's Avod Rabbi Natan Perekavchet. And it says as follows. They say it's so important to realize every single one of us, we are kings, we are leaders, we're in our house. The father is the king in the house, the mother is the queen, and the children are princes and princesses. What happens all of a sudden? We have to give imun in our children. We have to put that belief, we have to have this belief in them, that we are trusting in them, and we know that they can succeed. We know that they could grow. And the more that we're going to do that, that's actually going to be one of the conditions for their spiritual growth. Once they see that you're giving them responsibility, that you trust in them, that you know that they're going to succeed, they will succeed. That's one Musad that we have for our children, that every single one of us are Nassim. Do we have the same trust in our children? But the second one is not only in our children. The second one is when we talk about also ourselves. Every single one of us, we have to trust in ourselves. We have to have this belief that we have it within us. We have the potential and we are able to succeed, but only if we believe in ourselves. 
Just like we have to believe in our children that they succeed, so too we have to believe in ourselves that we can also succeed. And this is also one of the secrets to success. I just hope that from this extra letter from the Torah taken out, that we could learn from the mistake of the Nassim and say, no, every single one of us, we could put the trust in our children and they will succeed. And we could put the trust in ourselves and we will succeed once we come and we put the belief that we're able to do everything and we're able to overcome all the obstacles in our path. Have a wonderful Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.